please welcome to the stage, the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Summer Game Fest. We are in person, and today we've got a look at what's next in video games for you. We are live here in Los Angeles at YouTube Theater, and it feels so good to be in person with a live fan audience for the first time ever. Welcome, everybody. When I started Summer Game Fest back in 2020 from a spare bedroom, I never imagined it would grow into this. Today, the video game industry has come together to show you what's next. This is a cross-industry showcase, meaning no matter where you play games, I hope you'll discover a new game to put on your wish list. The landscape of video game events has certainly changed over the past few years, but one thing hasn't. There are a lot of great games in development, and our singular goal today is to get you excited about the future. In just a few minutes, we'll see the first extended gameplay of Mortal Kombat 1. It delivers, don't worry. Alan Wake 2, the reveal of Fortnite's next season. And yes, we do have a very special grand finale that you're not gonna want to miss. That's all I'll say right now. But let's get right to the games and gameplay. The first reveal is something you're not expecting, which makes it that much more exciting. Here we go. Our kingdom is cursed. The prince has been kidnapped and taken to a forbidden land. All hope rests with us, the immortals, to rescue him and save the empire. But we weren't prepared for what was coming next. Then again, they weren't prepared for me. Thing that keeps us fighting. I will fulfill my destiny and save the kingdom. There's a little surprise. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is coming in January 2024, a brand new action adventure platformer in the iconic series with deep combat, some huge boss fights, and of course, incredible platforming, puzzles, and animation, bringing a modern take on the legendary franchise. You'll be able to see more at Ubisoft Forward, streaming on Monday as part of Summer Game Fest. All right, let's move along to another iconic video game franchise that just celebrated 30 years. That's right, it's time for Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> Couldn't keep you waiting on this one. It has been four years since MK11 and ever since Ed Boon and the team at NetherRealm have been hard at work on the most ambitious MK yet that reboots the series into a new era timeline. And it's coming this September. Everyone has been asking, what does it look like? Who's on the roster? How do the new cameo fighters work? Well, now it is time for combat. No spoilers, but this video is literally insane. Here is an extended first look 
at the story, gameplay, and yes, of course, the fatalities of Mortal Kombat 1. Let's do it. I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down. Fight! <laughs> You have proven worthy of joining us. Come. There are other champions I must gather. What do you want? Sento. It's my family blade. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm, god of fire. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished. I only want what's best for you. Or do you secretly covet my throne? I mean, that was pretty good, right, guys? Yeah. Now, I'm sure you have many questions about what we just saw, and to tell you more, I am so honored to welcome to Summer Game Fest one of our industry's greatest creators, a man who has been loyal to the same franchise and fan base for more than three decades. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> they love you. All right, well, Ed, uh, first of all, thank you for that incredible uh, world premiere. We got to see all the gameplay of MK1. And 
everyone just wants to know more about this because first of all, this is in a it's it's MK1, right? It went from 11 to one. So tell us about this. Is it a new timeline? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how many people have seen the the ending of Mortal Kombat 11. Liu Kang basically was kind of graduated into like you know a fire god, right? And he's he created a brand new universe. And this universe, this is why we're calling it Mortal Kombat One, is because this is the beginning of a new timeline. A number of these characters you've seen before, but they're told in a completely different story. And so Sub-Zero and Scorpion are brothers now, and there's, there's all these things that were rivalries before are now allies, and so mixing the whole thing up, so we're just kind of rebooting, and that's what the one is for. Well, it looks incredible. Everything we saw there was, you know, in-game, gameplay, the cinematics look incredible. Uh, I know the team has been working for four years on this, but the thing we got to talk about are these cameos because we saw some pretty amazing stuff there. Now, so tell us, how does that work? You obviously, you have your sort of your main, you know, character that you'll pick, and then I know you also have a separate kind of cameo menu, so you pick sort of a pair when yeah. you start the game? Yeah, normally in, in a fighting game, you'll, you'll see a, a roster, basically, you know, where you select your character. After you do that, there's a second roster of characters, which are a whole new, uh, completely different so. fighters that are the cameo fighters, and these fighters actually they will join the fight, but they... A lot but of they, blank squares there. Yeah, so it's kind of like imagine yourself with Sub-Zero, but you have some of Jack's moves, and yeah. you can call him out. You can do it multiple times, as you saw in the gameplay, you okay. know. So you can piece, you, you can basically combine these two characters. All the characters can be combined with all the cameo fighters, and that's where you see... That's where the player's kind of imagination comes in, and they can actually customize it for what they like seeing, you know, the, the best team-ups. Well, so how does that work? So you're in gameplay, you have your main, you have your cameo. How do you, do you summon them? Is it time-based? Like, how often do they come in? To, like, it's not a tag team thing, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and you're you're basically summoning them. It's just one button pushes, basically, summoning. But they have a variety, so you can go, you know, push that button with towards, and it'll do a, a different move. Push it with down, it'll do a different move. Okay. And so the combination... Oh, I see, so you can bring them in a combo almost. Exactly, okay. exactly. And and so, and you see, there's like a meter up on top, uh -huh. which is basic. That, that'll limited so you can't obviously fire them indefinitely but um you call you can call them pretty much whenever you want and they have you know like in the middle of a combo they'll have a lot of um oh you know basically a whole arsenal of their moves so sony you saw come out there sometimes you'll see them appear twice in there it's amazing so time base they come out and then obviously as you go through you revealed some of them there, but are, it's a, is it a different set of characters that'll be in the cameos? Are there some repeats from the main roster? How will that work? Yeah, yeah. Some of the characters are going to be available as cameos as well as the main roster fighters. So you can play Sub Zero with Sub Zero, right? <laughs> you can play. You can same thing with Scorpion. But a, a lot of our our cameo fighters are kind of like nods back to our uh -huh. first game. So you'll notice Sonya and Kano and Jax are in their kind of older costumes. And so there's there's a lot of that novelty. We have a lot of like really surprise ones. I think you you guys saw Goro. Yes, Goro was, was in, in there. there. Yeah, yes, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. so there's a lot of like kind of really digging into the old Mortal Kombat games as far as getting, you know, um, we really love the novelty of it. We really want the cameo characters to feel, uh, you know, kind of nod to the old games. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, not of the old games, let's talk. You confirmed, I think, or it's least known that Jean Claude Van Damme is actually going to be in this game as Johnny Cage, yeah. right? Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was yeah. people don't know the story. I mean, Bloodsport was such an inspiration for Mortal Kombat, so he oh, finally is now he's yeah, it, part it, of it. It's a huge first uh, full circle moment. You know, the the first Mortal Kombat game we originally wanted to be Van Damme the video game, and that and that never really worked out. So I, I can't tell you how many times over the last thirty years we've tried to get him. Um, you know, we were this close, yeah. like four or five times, and uh, so finally we got him, and he's doing the voices. Too. Wow. So you're going to hear John Claude, his voice doing Johnny Cage lines and stuff like that. We're really excited about it. Wow. Well, I know the team has been working so hard in Chicago to build this through COVID, and it's coming out in September, so we don't have to wait long, right? That's right. With this, this has been a very difficult uh, secret to keep yeah. <laughs> over the last over the last four years, and so, uh, but we're we could not be more excited in terms of uh, getting players hands on it um, and you know throughout the summer we're going to be showing a lot more content a lot more characters a lot more cameo characters you know so there's a lot of reveals that are coming up amazing well ed thank you so much for giving us the first look at mk1 as you said this weekend people will be playing it press and media so we'll be seeing lots more coverage lots more characters to reveal on the main roster and cameos uh, ed boone thank you so much first look at mortal kombat awesome thanks <laughs> 
Amazing. So excited about that one. All right. Next up, it's been a fun couple weeks for action RPG fans with the release of Diablo 4, which is truly fantastic. Another big and anticipated ARPG is Path of Exile 2 from Grinding Gear Games, who have faithfully been updating and patching the original PoE since its release in 2013. We haven't seen anything on the sequel in over two years, but that changes right now. Here is your first look at a raw gameplay capture from Path of Exile 2, a sequel that pushes the engine and gameplay to a new level. Where are the gods? Hey you! What's going on? Looks amazing, and there's more coming in July. Last week marked the release of Street Fighter VI, a game we featured last year at Summer Game Fest. Well, the team at Capcom has an important update to share with you right now. Artificial Intelligence, Leviathan. Welcome to Pikitoa Island. I'm guessing Ryu from Street Fighter facing off against a dinosaur probably wasn't on your bingo card for today's show. <laughs> that Street Fighter cross Exo Primal collab will launch in the fall with the game coming out on July 14th. But guess what, guys? That may actually not be the craziest collaboration on the show today. Check this out. There's nothing more powerful than imagination. shape the fabric of reality, transforming everything you may think you know. That's right, Nicolas Cage is coming to Dead by Daylight in July. I mean, I don't know how these things happen, but I figured the easiest way to find out is probably to go right to the source. This man's bold creative choices have earned him an Academy Award and a few memes on the internet across more than four decades of incredible films. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest, Nicholas Cage! Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Happy to meet you. Nick, I gotta say welcome to the video game world. Oh, wow, yeah. Thank you. I'm so happy to be invited to your very, very cool club, everybody. <laughs> Finally, I mean, I gotta say, this is such a, a crazy, unexpected collaboration. I gotta understand, how did this come about? I mean, some people be like, oh, maybe he'll show up in Fortnite. Maybe he'll be in a Hideo Kojima game. But Dead by Daylight, I mean, how does this happen? Well, it's, it's a museum of horror, right? Yes. And, <laughs> When I make movies, one of my favorite genres is horror. 
And in this, and, and in that genre, there's a character, a murderous ghost named Sadako, who I think is amazing. And she made an appearance in this game, so that was good enough for me. Okay. That's what, yeah, I mean, that's what's fun is you're playing one of the survivors in this game, and it's cool that, you know, it's, it really is this museum of horror, Michael Myers, you said all these different yeah. characters all coming together. Um, and you, do you, pl you play yourself, or who do you play? So I play this uh, heightened exaggerated version of a film actor named Nick Cage. <laughs> and he's, uh, he's going to a location thinking he's making a movie and instead he wakes up in the fog. And in the fog he's surrounded by crows and serial killers and it's rather amusing. And there's something about it that I think as a survivor is like a bonding experience. It's a bit like hide and go seek. You have your three other teammates who are survivors with you, and you're, it's teamwork. You're working together to pull through, and I like yeah. that. And so that was a, a large reason for wanting to do it as well, that, that feeling of bonding with your friends. And you're fully in for this. I know we heard your voice in there, so you oh, yeah. recorded lines for it and everything? See, I want you to know when you're playing the Nick Cage survivor, I even have when you're choosing your skins, I even say, always remember to dress to match your talent. <laughs> I want you to know that you're with me, that we're one, that we're fused. And so it was important to me that everything I do, everything I say, from the scream to the grunt, down to the most minimal, exasperated expression of uh, a sigh, whatever it is, it's my voice, so that we are fused. All right. <laughs> Fully method, Nick Cage. I love it. Uh, I, I mean, this is so fun. This game, as you said, is such an awesome kind of, you know, collaboration with so many different characters. For you, I mean, how did you find out about Dead by Daylight? Do you know much about the video game Somebody world? very important in my family yeah. is a Dead by Daylight enthusiast. Okay. And, and that really put the uh, hook in. <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> Uh, see, Dead by Daylight to me was an opportunity to branch out. To I've never been invited into this space before. Yeah. I'm always looking for new adventures. So this to me was like, wow, I can ma I make a, I can make a whole new audience, meet a whole new audience, and branch out and go on this Dead by Daylight adventure. I, I didn't say it took me nothing but a split second to say yes. And speaking about split seconds, what <clears throat> excuse me, what I noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, sinuses, uh, allergies. What I noticed. <laughs> was that every move you make when you're doing this, when you're in the gaming space, it's, it's timed down to the split second. It's, an, it's a very immersive experience when you're acting out in this space because every move, every grunt, every sigh you make has to be timed perfectly with the gamer's move. So yep. that was something that I learned from this and I'm always looking to learn something. Well, we love having you in the video game world. We want to see Nick Cage in more games. Thank forward. you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Nick, thank you so right, much. You. Hopefully the first batty. Nicholas right. Cage, great right. to see you, man. Put awesome. There, there you go. Lock okay. it in. All right. All right. <laughs> now, for all of you who want to play Nick Cage in Dead by Daylight, the chapter officially comes out on July 25th on PC and console, but PC players can try it earlier by downloading the player test build on July 5th. And here's an exclusive first look at Nicholas Cage in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Anything goes here at Summer Game Fest. All right, thank you very much, Nick. Now, lately we've been seeing an incredible number of video game adaptations. But back in 2019, The Witcher on Netflix, inspired by the Witcher book series, showed the potential of well-done adaptations. And later this month, season three, volume one arrives, and now it's time for the world premiere of the trailer, introduced by Henry Cavill and the cast. Hello, Witcher fans. We are all gathered here today to share something with you. Be sure to tune into The Witcher Season 3, Volume 1 debut, deb debut. <laughs> <laughs> Volume One debuts on June 29th, only on Netflix. Get ready to watch the world premiere of our brand new trailer for Season 3 of The Witcher. Thanks for tuning in to the Summer Games Fest and enjoy the trailer. Neutrality. It won't get you a statue. 
ghost in the shadow. But he'll certainly help in keeping you alive. I won't abandon Siri. Neutrality has consequences too. Right. Well, that's deeply worrying. Everything that's happening, it's all connected. I mean, she's at the center of it. If war is coming, there is no hiding her from it. Are you sure about this? Are you? Cute, they look for monsters, and they're like, No, please don't hurt me. And then, wow, <laughs> fangs just like a boatload of fangs all up in your business. No 
turning back after this. You sure? All right, we have much more Summer Game Fest to come, including a first look at the gameplay of Alan Wake 2, the world premiere of the new season of Fortnite, Call of Duty Season 4, and maybe a few more surprises for you. As we go through today's reveals, use the hashtag gaming on TikTok on TikTok to react to the news. And we want to welcome everyone co-streaming the show live on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, and other platforms. For those of you on Twitch, we also have a special Warframe Twitch drop, a free Steinax Warframe for watching more than 30 minutes of the show. Now, speaking of surprises, another legendary gaming hero is set to return later this year in a brand new game built from the ground up in a style that I think is going to get this fan base and longtime fans of video games very excited. Here's another Summer Game Fest global game announcement. New thrills with a classic feel. How about that? A new standard for 2D classic Sonic that's bound to appeal to new and legacy fans alike. This past April, Honkai Star Rail launched, and as you're about to see, the game is bringing an exciting new character to space fantasy RPGs. However, we don't just have a new peak for current players, but also for those awaiting the game's release on PlayStation. Take a look. I wish this universe had a few more things to do. Don't you get bored running across the map every day? Team Trailblaze, back from duty. Mission one accomplished. Where's our next stop? I can't wait. <sighs> Another busy day ahead of us. Starting. Great! Let me get warmed up. Strike first! Uh. 
Need a hand? My pleasure! <laughs> Let's see some sparks fly! Never mind, I miscalculated. Can you let me have some fun this time? Time for a buzz. At the speed, too slow. Later this year on PlayStation. All right, inspired by the story of Pinocchio, Lies of P is a Soulsborne-like game from the team at NeoWiz, which is coming to Game Pass, PlayStation, and PC this year. Well, if you're wondering exactly when, we have news to share with you on its release with this brand new trailer. Listen, pal, nice landing, but uh, let's not make it a habit. That's right, a demo for Lies of P is now available across PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Check it out and prepare for the release on September 19th. Now it's time for the reveal of a visually stunning new game based on a classic manga with a story and world created by one of the most celebrated anime artists of all time. This is one of those games that I feel lucky we get to reveal for the first time here at Summer Game Fest. And I think you'll be pretty hyped once you see the gameplay all built in Unreal Engine 5. Here we go.
なさい王子こんな人間の機会いいぞやってみるかいいのかサンラン、get ready to become an unlikely hero in an adventure where you don't need to be human to save humanity.、Uh, that's coming from Bandai Namco, and we're excited to see more of it soon. Independent games are such an important part of the industry, and one thing that's very important to us at Summer Game Fest is supporting those creators as well. After the live sh show, stay tuned for Day of the Devs from i m a p i t and Double Fine with some incredible indie game reveals. Now, one of the biggest independent publishers is Annapurna Interactive. And later this month, as part of Summer Game Fest, they'll be revealing a number of ambitious new projects. Let's see how many you can figure out in this little tease. Wonder what that was at the end. We'll find out later this month. All right, next, we're stepping into the world of Throne and Liberty, a free to play PC and console MMORPG from NCSoft and Amazon Games with an always changing environment, massive scale, PvPVE, and the ability to transform into creatures to battle across land, sea, and air. Here's a look at Throne and Liberty. Our guiding star has shattered. Its shards scattered across the world. An ancient evil searches for these lost fragments, destroying anything in their path. You must find them, harness their power. Put down this threat once and for all. Looks great. I also want to say hello to everybody watching on Steam right now. I'm sorry we don't have any free Steam decks for you right now, but on June 19th, Steam Next Fest does return, giving fans a chance to try out hundreds of new in development games. One of them is the free to play medieval fantasy sword fighting game Warhaven from Nexon, which lets you transform into supernatural immortals. Here's a new look. The battle call. Cities rise and empires fall. But it's a war worth fighting. We're taking up our arms. Pull the line up, here we touch. And we keep on fighting.
Hey, this is not. It's <laughs> Pilgrims, summer is coming, and with it, a lot of cool stuff will make its way to Dying Light Thursday Human. Get ready for darker, more dangerous nights and roaming volatiles, complete with improved parkour, rolling out with the next update in June. Then, right after that, we'll kick off an event season like you have never seen before. Trust me, for one of them, you will want to get your butt barbed wired. Very soon, you will get the deadliest summers to date. Welcome back to Summer Game Fest. Isn't that great, by the way? Crash Team Rumble is going to feature playable Ripper Roo and Engin, Neil Cortex's right hand guy in season one. Now it's time to change the topic and descend into madness. Joining me is a guy who was last on stage at the Game Awards 2021 to announce Alan Wake 2. He's come all the way from Finland. Please welcome from Remedy, Sam Lake. <laughs> you looking dapper as always thank you thank you well we are so excited because when you announced uh, alan wake at the game or alan wake 2 at the game awards you said 2023 we are in 2023 it's coming this october and we are so excited about the sam i know it's been a long time coming for fans and for you 13 years since the first alan wake so tell us a bit about what can we expect in the sequel it's been quite a journey yes yeah. um alan wake 2 is remedy's first survival horror game we have two playable characters. It's a 50-50 split between them. They are on their own separate terrifying journeys through two different worlds, and yet it's all connected. Mm -hmm. And the player gets to switch between them at given points in the, in the story as they choose. Yeah, we saw, obviously, uh, at the PlayStation event, you revealed uh, Saga, the, the second character. Uh, tell us a bit about her. She's in Bright Falls, and she's sort of living a, a narrative that Alan has written. Is that right? Well, uh, that's a good question to ask okay, going okay. into this. <laughs> so, yes, we, we have Alan Wake, our yeah. title character, of course, trying to escape from the nightmare dimension yes. of the dark place. Yes. And then we have Saga, our yes. new hero, FBI agent, uh, coming to the Pacific Northwest small town of Bright Falls together with her partner, yes. Alex Casey. Okay. Uh, so how, and, uh, and they're somehow linked in some way, right? Uh, they are coming to investigate yes. a series of ritualistic murders. Okay. And, and very quickly, the investigation turns into a nightmare when they discover pages of a horror story. Uh, maybe written by a certain <laughs> missing writer. By uh, initials AEW. <laughs> and, and this horror story starts to come true okay. uh, around them. 
Interesting. So obviously, it's you know, Allen is still going to be playable in the game. You're going to experience his journey, but uh, Saga, this is sort of new character, and there is that sort of link. Tell us a bit about you said split fifty fifty. Do they have separate missions? Because I think you can you can play them in sort of different sequences or orders if you want, right? Yeah, we we go into the experience playing as as Saga, okay. and and it's a sequel, but it's also a standalone experience. We are not expecting everybody to do homework okay. if, if they have not played the original game. Yeah. Uh, this can be enjoyed uh, as is. Saga doesn't know anything about the lore, about the supernatural uh, in this world. She will be going in very quickly. She has to learn to survive. And with that, all the players uh, will be on, on that journey with, with her. And, and uh, then we open up the experience so that you can hop to play Alan Wake in the dark place okay. uh, as he's trying to find his way out. And you can keep on playing as Saga in the Pacific Northwest as the investigation goes on. And you are free to switch between Shoot. them. Ah. There are a lot of connection points yes. uh, in many surprising ways, but there is no right way to play through this. You can choose. You, you can go on as, as Alan all the way close to the end, or as Saga, or you can keep hopping between these two uh, sides of it. Well, you're always so good at kind of telling challenging, interesting narratives in unique ways. I mean, Remedy's always been known for that, and you especially, so we can't wait to see how these stories intertwine, I'm sure, throughout the experience. Today, though, I know you brought with you some, some gameplay of Saga's adventure. We're just going to see a, a raw segment of the game, right? Yeah, raw gameplay for the first time ever. This is early on from the experience. <laughs> They're hyped, uh, Sam. They're ready for it. So tell us, what, what are we going to see? What, uh, supernatural forces of darkness have uh, brought the murder victim, uh, in this case, back to life as a monster. And, and uh, Saga is outside Pride Falls at Cauldron Lake trying to find him and stop him. Okay, with that, let's take a look at raw, unedited gameplay from Alan Wake 2. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Sounds like somebody's home.
The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. Killer left a message. It's for us. We were all trapped in a horror story. The horror story wanted us dead. There's something I'm forgetting. Something important. Something's not right! A long time coming, but Alan Wake 2 looks incredible. Thank you to Sam and Remedy for that first look at gameplay. Now let's get a first look at the co-op campaign of Warhammer Space Marine 2 from Saber and Focus. We're facing a Terranid splinter fleet. They engaged us on two planets, Avarax and Kadaku. I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. There could be questions. Will that be a problem? No, Captain. Terranids! My pledge is a time of service. Xenos inbound! Eviscerate this abomination! Come forth and be slaughtered! Beautiful indie game, yes, Your Grace, Snowfall. Now it is time for another global game announcement, and this one comes from the minds of Saber Interactive, Focus Entertainment, and yes, horror master John Carpenter. It's a brand new world, a brand new story, and looks like a heck of a lot of fun. Check this out.
more unexpected collaboration. Sean Carpenter and uh, Saber with Toxic Commando. That looks uh, tons of fun. You guys think any of those zombies made it? I don't know. All right. Well, this August brings the long-awaited full 1.0 release of Baldur's Gate 3. And today, a new member is joining the cast. We're about to see the reveal of Lord Ember Gortash, the commander of a mechanical army of Steel Watchers. He's a second antagonist and is voiced by a familiar name. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. A new age is upon us. Gods have mercy on those who would stand in our way. A mad dog understands the yank of the leash and the hand of its master, but it cannot be an equal. You can be my equal. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Friends, allies, to my side. Let us usher in a new dawn. This city is mine. I'm not ready to call you enemy. What do you say? Shall we be allies? He said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Baldur's Gate 3 is on track, Sven tells me, still for the end of August, and we can't wait to check that out. All right, this fall, Marvel Games and Insomniac are set to bring Spider-Man 2 exclusively to PlayStation 5. Sounds like you guys are a little hyped, so to tell us more is Brian Intahar, Game Director at Thank Insomniac. Everyone. Brian, thanks for coming by. I know you guys are deep in development. First of all, it looks like we have some... Uh, Fancy art behind us. This yeah. is, is this the box? This is the box art. This okay. is, you know, this is it. Here it is. I mean, it has two on the box for a reason because yeah. this game features two spider man so we're really excited about it. Absolutely. Uh, Peter and Miles, uh, we're so excited about this, um, you know, experience that you guys are doing with these sort of two characters. Uh, we saw some great gameplay at the PlayStation Showcase, but I want to talk about the two villains, I think, in the game. That we're, yeah. There may be more. Who there knows, are more. But, <laughs> there are more out there, I Two promise. main ones, but yeah. uh, we have some new art to show of, uh, we obviously, Craven. we got the reveal at the, uh, yep. the PlayStation event, so tell us a bit about uh, him and how he factors so it. So Craven's up. very different from any character we've done. He's not, you know, he's not powered by magic or, you know, tech. He's just the best hunter in the world, and he's coming to New York for his greatest hunt, and yeah. what's better than all of the Marvel characters that live in New York City? So Peter, Miles, and others, he's on the hunt. And others, dot, dot, dot. Yes, uh, yes. But uh, Venom also, obviously, uh, you know, Symbiote is a part of this whole story as we saw in the gameplay. Oh, um, oh there you go. Good reaction to the art. Uh, I'm glad how, you're happy. I'm I don't know how much you're going to tell us about Venom. Is this, uh, can you tell, is this is an Osborne Venom? Can you tell us, what's the origin of uh, Eddie Brock Venom? Or? It is not Eddie Brock. Okay. It is not, it is not Eddie Brock. Okay. Um, our goal was to tell an original story, something yes. you haven't seen in the comics or the movies yet. Obviously, wow. we love Venom for a reason. Yeah. All those things you love about the character are going to be there, but how the story plays out, who is Venom, you have to play the game to see how it Cool. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's there's a bit of a tease. Now, yep. obviously the, the the symbiote is a big part of the gameplay, and and one of the things I think we were all struck with the footage that you showed at the PlayStation Showcase was uh, you know how that is going to really impact the gameplay when you're playing as you know Peter. So tell us a bit about that and how you know the gameplay is going to be dramatically different. Yeah, I mean I think you saw it in just the the raw power, the strength, and even the transformation of. Uh, Peter's moves in that in that in that gameplay reveal. Yeah. You know, he's you know, we call him the acrobatic improviser, him and Miles, but you can tell there's a lot more strength, a lot more raw power, aggression, which you saw both in the moves and how Peter talks. So yeah. it's not just what happens in gameplay, it's what happens, how the story plays out. Interesting. So how it affects him as well. Yeah. I mean you story. saw some of that in yeah. there's much more of that journey when you play the game. 
And I know the the journey is also more expansive. You've got Queens, Brooklyn, so even more of sort of yeah. City I mean, the city right? has pretty much doubled in size. So wow. it's Man it's Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, and then being able to use the web wings to traverse at yeah. speeds way faster than they were before um, is really awesome. Hugely ambitious game you guys have been building uh, over the past few years. We saw at the um, at the PlayStation event uh, it said at the end fall twenty twenty three, and I yep. think. You know, we're like getting close to that. Are you guys feeling confident that you're going to make it this fall? You know, Jeff, I know you like exclusives. Yes. <laughs> and I can promise you we are very confident what we're going to tell you right now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look. October 20th, Spider-Man 2, exclusively for PlayStation 5. Got it. Awesome. Well, Brian, thanks so much for Thank stopping by. I know you got a lot of work to do. Wrapping up the game, and we'll check it out in October. Thanks, Brian. We got our date. All right. Now let's take a look at Power World, a multiplayer open world survival crafting game where you can befriend and collect mysterious creatures called POW who can also fight. In other words, it's kind of like Pokemon with guns. And then... <laughs> Then we're going to look at The Land of the Morning Light, a new expansion to Black Desert Online, which recreates the mythical folktales from Korea's Joseon Dynasty and some huge bosses, too. Our story is more than what hobbits and elves know. It is time we told it ourselves. With hammer and axe, we mine and scout. Across Middle Earth, delving for riches. Yet the greatest treasure remains out of our reach Moria. Fellow dwarves, rally together. It's time we took back our home.
All right, now we're going to look at an exciting new mobile game from a legendary franchise. Pre-registration for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis has just started and users will have a chance to participate in an upcoming closed beta test. Now, speaking of Final Fantasy... No, 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 no. Today during Summer Game Fest, DoorDash has your back. Get, <laughs> you can get a free burrito when you order from Taco Bell using the code GAMEFEST. Plus, get the chance to win a Final Fantasy 16 prize pack. DoorDash, stay in your game. Yep, we got you. All right. Now here's a look at a game we debuted last year at TGA. Banishers Ghosts of New Eden, the story of two ghost hunters in the haunted wilds of North America. Life to the living, death to the dead. We are Banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. I banish you. Death to the dead. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? Come out, wherever you are. Come on, show yourself. Red. Every bloody time. So that the Konkai no shire wa anata gonomi no tanjun na chikara shigoto desu. Aru jinbutsu o keigo shite itadakimasu.頼みましたよ。コードネーム、ジョーリー。大丈夫か。ええ。お待たせしてしまって。トラブル発生。車はまだか。到着まで3分。何があった。お前らも今回り右すりゃ、無事に帰れる。さもなきゃ。これから起き
前の名は俺に名はない Stanley. It is 7 32 a.m. I hope you have a productive day. Change username to just Stan. Adjusting morning wake up. Good morning, just Stan. Base to capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? Green across the board. Looks like we're good. <laughs> Definitely a leak here, Tim. Has it been now? Three years, two months, and 17 days. What sort of operation are they running down here? They shouldn't be here. Is someone there? This doesn't make sense. Is someone else down here? Beautiful new game, Under the Waves, and today, incidentally, is World Ocean Day. Fun fact. All right, next, Call of Duty. Well, there's a new Call of Duty coming this fall along with Warzone Mobile. Today, we're going to give you the first ever look at Season 4 of Modern Warfare 2 Warzone launching next week. Here's your first look at Vondel, a new Warzone location with points of interest, including a medieval castle, a soccer stadium, and an abandoned zoo. Yep, it's all happening. Check it out. Here you go. Season four next week. Today is a big day for video games, but also a huge day for Porsche. The iconic German automaker turned 75 years old today. And to celebrate their contributions in the automotive and gaming space, I mean, we've all raced a 911 in some point at a game. Xbox has teamed up with Porsche for a limited edition run of 75 consoles inspired by six famous Porsche race cars. And I'm thrilled to debut the first design here today inspired by the Porsche 963 that's racing this weekend at the 100th running of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Let's take a look. Here it is, the Porsche Xbox Series X. These custom consoles are not for sale, but you can enter for a chance to win one right now at PorscheXboxSweepstakes.com. Make sure to stay tuned for the Porsche and Xbox social channels for additional opportunities to get your hands on these special consoles. All right, next, 
Phoenix Labs are building the next great entry into the cozy farm sim genre. We all like a cozy game inspired by classics like Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. Previously announced for Nintendo Switch, there's now some exciting news for PC players too. Let's take a look at Fate Farm. Dear friend, life in Azoria has been treating me well. Days pass so quickly. Before I know it, they turn into seasons. It's been a breath of fresh air. I think we found a way to get cozy and settle in. But there's something more I've been itching to explore. <laughs> Realms where magic comes to meet us. As long as we're prepared, we can face anything. So, what do you say? <laughs> There's so much yet to discover. Are you ready? We promise variety. There it is, Fae Farm and Mortal Kombat in the same show, only at Summer Game Fest. Now, please welcome Ben Brode, Chief Development Officer and flannel enthusiast at Second Dinner, the developers behind the popular collectible card game, Marvel Snap. What's up, Ben? Man, you guys have been on fire. Last time I saw you was at the Game Awards when you won uh, Best Mobile Game. Uh, seems like you've been very busy. We're excited about the Spider-Verse content you've been doing. Lots going on over there, right? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been exciting. We've been doing a bunch of new features, some of the wildest cards we've ever made, and... Uh, <clears throat> Some new game modes, yeah. Yeah, new game. Is that is that a segue, Ben? Certainly, yeah. yeah. I'm excited to announce Marvel Snap's biggest update ever. Uh, we have a new game mode coming next week. It's Conquest mode. It's a great way to get a super competitive experience uh, and some exciting new rewards. But you don't have to wait till next week. If you haven't tried Marvel Snap, go download it right now on your mobile device or early access on Steam. All right, Ben. I, I love the enthusiasm, Ben. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> You're made for YouTube. All right. Well, we heard you brought uh, something fun uh, with you for us to watch, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, listen. I am incredible at card games, so I often win. Uh, but some people, and maybe you've had this experience, Jeff, uh, some people lose. Yeah. Okay. Fair. And I like to think it's because they suck. No offense, Jeff. Yeah. Awesome. But sometimes, yes. sometimes it's because they might just be a little bit unlucky. Cue the tape. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay, I don't have an ideal hand of cards here, but that's fine. I'll see what I draw in future turns. Anyway, let's reveal the first location. Lamuntus 1. Each player destroys their deck. Okay, I guess I will work with what I have. I'll play Medusa on location number two. She gets plus two power. And let's see the next location. Clover Dangerfield has a 25% chance of destroying your cow. Okay, well, I mean, 25% isn't that bad. And it's gone. Okay, well... I have some powerful cards in my hand, so I can just wait. Let's see the next location. The Big Barn. Players cannot play four, five, or six cost cows. You gotta be kidding me. Also, if you don't play a card this turn, you have zero friends. Now you're just being Still to come, we're going to look at Immortals of Avium from EA Originals and Ascendant and the world premiere first look at Chapter 4, Season 3 of Fortnite Wilds. Now, if you're looking for the smartest way to level up your gaming this summer, compare top credit cards side by side with NerdWallet and start maximizing your cash back rewards on everything from Wi-Fi to headsets. Now, here's a look at King Arthur Legends Rise, a new cross-platform UE5 game for mobile and PC, a Fantasy Squad RPG adventure that is available to pre-register today. Arthur, I have sacrificed everything to save your kind. Ancient 
Fight with honor. Vanquish the wicked. And you may prove worthy of your legacy. Wayfinders, do you remember the fall? The gloom descended on Skylight. You rallied to protect the beacon and paid a terrible price. You fell and the world was broken. Remember who you were, who you are, and return to us. This world needs champions. a chance. <laughs> Captain's log, star date 43152.4. Our fleet is cautiously entering hostile territory, and the crew is standing by. We are the Lord. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance. Hey there, Summer Game Fest 2023. It's Will Arnett here. Yeah, right? Um, my buddy Anthony Mackey and I have been uh, working on this for some time now. We're really excited to share with you, Twisted Metal, which is streaming only on Peacock starting July 27th. And I'm very excited to share a sneak peek of the character of Sweet Tooth, who I had the pleasure of voicing. Hope you enjoy it. Check it out. This is gonna be fun. We're <laughs> Ha, swung a little wide there. <laughs> well, aren't we a tall glass of water? Me, I'm more of a Hawaiian punch. I'm guessing you don't fight much outside of your car now, do you? Look, Clown, I don't need four wheels to kick your ass. <laughs> Any chance we can get this back in the cars? <laughs> How about a little kill music? <laughs> She had dumps like a truck, 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 thighs like what, 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 all night long. Let me see that thong. Like a 
like it when the beat go. Dana, Dana. Baby, let your booty go. Dana, Dana. Girl, I know you want to show. Dana, Dana. Thong, oh, thong, thong, Do you love this over here, God? Huh? Hey, don't lie to me. Yeah, man. Look, I listened to Unleash the Dragon so many times the disc broke. I'm not a liar. But you said you were coming to my show. And then you shot at me. This is a misunderstanding. Hmm. I've been getting shot at ever since I can remember. It's forced habit, I guess. Uh, sounds like you have trust issues. Who hasn't dreamt of duplicating oneself in order to multitask? This new hack and slash game with a tactical twist allows you to do just that. Brought to you from France, here's the world premiere reveal trailer of Lisfunga, the time shift warrior, coming later this year to PC. Goddess of time. Receive my light, Lisfunga. Let this power flow through you and fight again alongside your past selves. I'm here again. That's another me. I look good. I rewind. I begin again, but with another me to fight with. You're coming with me. You're not the only one who can be in multiple places at once. I will become Legion and crush these demons. Onwards! I can feel that there are more. Very cool independent game. All right, next up is a brand new IP from Ascendant Studios, a single player, first person magic shooter called Immortals of Avium. It's fast and fluid. It's an FPS in a fantasy setting, kind of like Doom with magic. It also has a great ca cast led by Darren Barnett as the main character, Jack, and he joins us now. Hey, Darren. Hey, guys. Great to have you with How us. You doing? Thank you. This Thanks. is such a, a cool game, super high production value, spectacular gameplay. Uh, tell us about the guy you play. You're the main character, Jack, right? Yes, I am playing the main character, Jack, as seen behind me. He yep. is a battle mage that controls all three forms of magic, triple threat. Uh, he's brash, he's funny, but he gets the job done. Well, uh, it's the, the gameplay, as we've seen, is just so fast-paced. There's so much action in it, uh, you know, with all the spells, the spell casting, and the magic. Um, what can you tell us about the story and sort of how this battle mage, Jack, uh, comes in? He sort of becomes a battle mage, right? Yeah, he kind of comes from nothing. He's, uh, I guess they call him a street rat is what he was. Uh -huh. um, but he, uh, yeah, d during a uh, time of intense trauma, he summons the power to control magic. Uh, becomes part of the Immortals, which is like the elite Navy SEAL squad of this world called Avium, and they are in the middle of an ever war, fighting for the control of magic. Okay. Uh, I, you have a great cast, you, Gina Torres in it, lots of amazing actors in this incredible, really high production value game uh, that's coming out this summer. We don't have to wait long for it. Um, and I know you brought something with you to share today, which is a gameplay sequence, which is one of the, the most epic sort of parts of the game, right? Yeah. Um, so this is a wild part of the game. This trailer is going to be showing you um, the Immortals and myself confronting Sandrak directly, who is the top villain of this game, um, and trying to end the Everwar. And it's uh, taking place in like one of the most badass levels of a video game I've seen. We're battling on top of a 400-foot mech in the middle of the ocean as it moves around. Um, it's wild, so let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at yeah. some brand new gameplay from Immortals of Avium, which comes out this summer for PC, PS5, and Xbox. Thanks, Darren. Thank you. Sandrax literally pushed us to the edge. Everyone that can fight already is. And we're still losing. Welcome aboard, Immortal. What's our bearing, sir? North by northeast? Five knots. We'll catch him, sir. Oh, 
control room and protect Selko. Zendara and I will hold off the Rashanian down here. Got it. Gotta get to the control room. I want to be an immortal. I want to fight this war as one of you. You're what's called a triarch. The Pentasad has gifted you with the ability to manifest all three colors of magic. We're only going to win this one together. Sit your love. Love that we get to show you guys so much amazing raw gameplay today, and that game looks incredible. Coming out this summer from Ascendant and EA. Now, one game that constantly reinvents itself is Fortnite. And tomorrow, Chapter 4, Season 3, Wilds launches. And today, Summer Game Fest is debuting the cinematic trailer to preview the season. The center of the island has collapsed, revealing a vast, hidden jungle with ancient secrets to discover. And of course, there's a whole new Battle Pass lineup where you can unleash the power, yes, of Cybertron. Here we go. Fortnite Wilds launches tomorrow. Well, finally, guys, it's time to get to our grand finale. And it is a deep honor for me to present this game. What you're about to see is a world premiere trailer that gives us a new look at an expansive world we can't wait to explore again. This game comes from a studio that surprised the world and redefined 
the RPG genre with its iconic characters and rich storytelling. And I want to thank them for this trailer for one of gaming's most anticipated upcoming releases. The rumors were true. We're still here at the scene of this terrible disaster caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. Wow. Just look at it all. It's so green. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. The life stream. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, He's alive. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Well now, think we woke it up. Angered it more like. Feast your eyes on the Turk's latest and greatest. Elena. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. say she's a monster, that she can peer inside you, into the very depths of your soul, that she can become those you hate, those you fear, those you love. Free, you, yeah. You murdered my dad! You burned my village! Do you know that I killed her? So, who is she? There you have it. That was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming early 2024 to PlayStation 5. Nomura-san, thank you so much. All right, and that's gonna do it for Summer Game Fest, our live showcase, but that is not the end of Summer Game Fest. Stay tuned this weekend for updates on many more games during SGF Play Days, a hands-on event for media here in Los Angeles, including Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty, as well as the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase on Sunday. Right now, though, stay tuned for Day of the Devs from I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine, which celebrates the independent game culture with a number of new game reveals over the next hour. We'll see you this summer, later this summer, on August 22nd for Gamescom opening night live in Germany and again in December when we come together here in Los Angeles to celebrate 10 years of the Game Awards. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon. <laughs>